Hello everybody, welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We just arrived at the Hall of Horrors, and we're going to go find Slate. And, uh, well not find Slate, but we're going to go find, uh, Shock Jockey. So we can progress to the story. I wonder if I can buy anything from that. Uh, yeah. Actually. I want all my money. That was my first That was my first big purchase. Um Don't really have any money to afford anything else now, but who needs anything else? I hear somebody. Oh. That's why I heard somebody. Father Comstock, commander of the Seventh Cavalry. I was just reading that bitch. jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll- That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die in the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! The shock jock. If you want the vigor, you will give my men the soldiers down. They wait for you and me and Becky. Okay, so he's not gonna let us through. He's not gonna let us have the shock jockey until we kill his men. Because he wants them to have a soldier's death. Well, that's just fine, Slate. I'll, I'll uh I'll kick your men's ass. Nice. I don't know, lots of lockpicks. Yeah, the upgrade that I got for my plasma does this now. Like when I when I kill somebody that has the crows on them, it leaves behind a trap. Isn't that fucking awesome? I'll try uh, to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. Alright boys, which way do we want to go first? Do we want to go left, or do we want to go right? Do we want to go to the Boxer Rebellion, or do we want to go through the Battle of Wounded Knee? <clears throat> um, let's just go through the Battle of Wounded Knee first. It's not really much different, it's just different co types of combat. The tin soldier is taking credit for the deeds of the real ones. Now your companion, young lady, he wrapped himself in glory in December 20th. All right, jackass, just walk around the corner like that. No one an RPG. What is this? I don't know what gear is, damn it. Melee strike range increased by three. That's pretty good. What's the comparison? Oh no, I. I like my shield regeneration. Um. So Booker was at this battle, I think. I think that's why Slate, that's why you know Slate is because Booker was at this battle. He was there. Oh, yep, yep, she, she just said it. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield! 
battlefield like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. Let's go, stop it. All you got. Here's the soldier I spoke of. The kind of man comes up pretends to be. See if I told you true. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh yeah, that probably doesn't affect him. So now we're headed to the other display to kill some more baddies. And this one is about the Chinese. Employees only, so this must be the area that I can search for some gear and stuff. Hoorah. Enemies become easier to melee execute. Now that's whatever. Um. Maybe I should have played this on the harder difficulty because this is pretty simple. Pretty easy. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops to Peking. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stroke to mark that sacrifice? A soldier's dead! Firemen! I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the Rotunda. It's almost over. Come back to the Rotunda. What all right. Slate mean? What did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours. I realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. Out of my damn face like that. How dare you? You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. The seed of the prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. 
That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. Oh. The child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. The Prophet was only, or the baby was only in the womb for a week? That doesn't sound right. That's my tower. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the Prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. My Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get one. So now we just revealed that Elizabeth is Comstock's daughter. So there's that. You want to take a look at this? She just stuck it in there and broke it. Daisy Fitzroy. Daisy Fitzroy is that lady that we were that we've been hearing about the the Vox Populi and shit. She's a leader of the Vox Populi. Comstock's vengeance. I don't want to feel. Like, I don't feel like reading that. But he, he apparently. Long story short, he tried to fight back with against her. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead. See if there's some way to move forward. All right, Elizabeth. Is that? It's a tear. Something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. <clears throat> As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. All right, now we get to the point in the game where we can. Uh, okay. Where we can have. I feel there's more where that came from. Yeah. So we, we, anxious tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Try that one! Take the turret. Turret now! We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! Keep your eye open for that shot, John Vigor. Oh boy. The sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. And too rare is the man who takes a stab in you and God, God and his sweetest fatherland. And here is the place where we revere the heroes of our city. Team men, Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Nothing works on this fool. Appreciate it. Holy shit. I told you these things were assholes.
So now I've got a I've got a minigun. Elizabeth, a little help. Oh, this won't take long at all. Done. Got a lot That's five lock picks, no but it's probably worth it. All yours. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shot jockey here. Slate must have taken that. So his slate has the shock jockey. Uh, we're gonna kick his ass and take it. What is that? It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee! It was Slate who stormed the gates of Peking! Slate! Slate! Come stops coming, Booker! But our lives won't satisfy him, oh no! He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's deck awaits. That's not any of anything though. I hate this damn plasma. I hate the I hate the devil's kiss. It it just misses all the time. Up there, Slate. Um, yeah, the shock jockey that he's using is one of one of my more favorite plasmids. Elizabeth honey move. Uh, 
Hello, Slate. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! I killed Slate because, you know, he, he just wanted a soldier's death. I suppose it was Mercy. Comstock's men would have taken him. I suppose it was. Do you ever get used to it? Killing. That's what you can imagine. All right, so now we got the shock jockey. Slate's dead, and now we're headed back to go get to the airship. I just got—I got a trophy for doing that. You know, those vigors seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. Yeah, so like I said, Elizabeth just gives us shit throughout the game, and. The fuck was that? Okay. I can tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me. All right. Let's leave the Hall of Heroes. I'm actually going to use a machine gun since they're getting a lot stronger now. Whoa, what's this? I've never seen this before. This conduit here. I've never noticed that conduit. Never in my history of playing Bioshock Infinite. Is there something good up here? There's fucking gear up here. And a set of lockpicks? Wow, I never noticed it. When revived. Uh, I'm not going to need that. Well, that was useless. Well, not really useless, but... You know, still not worth a... <laughs> that plasma wasn't worth coming up here for. <laughs> or that gear, sorry. Give me that sniper rifle, actually. I'm good with the sniper rifle. Okay, boys, let's go get us an airship. I will see you when I get there, or, or when combat happens. Alright. 
guy was armored. That's how you do that, boys. And no, I didn't just try to hit a lizard with, I was trying to switch weapons. You Elizabeth. Got it. Um. All right, I think that was all for the combat in this area, anyways. I didn't find that book. Right? That's not look, easy. look easy? That was, bitch, that didn't look easy. That was the easiest thing in my life. Talking about it being hard and shit. I didn't find that book, so I didn't, I, I'm not gonna be able to, tra to trans translate the, um, the Vox Popular message back there in the bathroom, so we're just gonna move forward. Oh, my game almost crashed. Fun. All right, give me the mach the machine gun. Mr. Dewitt, the name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction, Booker. When there's a moment when we're not being shot at, if you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. Oh, over there? I've already went over there. That was my phone. Um. Oh, fuck me, sideways. Damn it! Think. Things are easy to fight when you uh, got shock jockey. Hello, Elizabeth. Your dress is all dirty and stuff. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? How, how do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Okay. Alright, so far no combat, but I know there's going to be combat. Got a big boy on my side now. Damn it. And so are ships. He will abandon you, my sweet Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Once he has what he needs, he will leave you alone. What else could you expect from a liar and killer of women? Comstock. Father, prophet, whomever you are, I'm leaving and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. 
You coming, bitches? That's a rocket. Trying to get away to where I can jump on them. What the fuck just happened? I do not know what happened at all. They're on the skylines. Bitches. <laughs> this is fun as fuck. What the hell is hurting you, Booker? Oh shit, I might die because of that rocket. I'm gonna deal with those rockets, they're tough. Is that a fucking great patriot? Thank you, Elizabeth. See if I can't jump one of these guys. Shit. Damn it. I can't jump up there and get you. Well, that worked. Wish you'd, wish you'd come down from up there. Here, ammo. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, I think he's dead. That was stupid. They wouldn't come down from there. But, um... Okay, so let's take this airship and it should be the last half of this episode. The last little bit of moments I have. Ready. Alright, watch out Elizabeth. Alright, we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna end the episode. I think there's a little bit of dialogue here between yeah.
And now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Okay. So Booker's in debt to some people. And he's here to take Elizabeth to them. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Remember that? Oh! There's shit right there. A little bit of an awkward silence right there. Okay, so I think that was, uh... I think that was it for this area. I think we go right over here and then... Oh, shit. Okay, my alarm is about to go off on my phone here, which means it's time for me to end this episode. Alright folks, that'll be all. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Unless there's unless there's dialogue here, then I'll... Uh... So, yep. looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you okay. The lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. Or right, actually, let me, let me, uh... Okay, yeah, you know what? That's gonna be the end of this episode. Alright, folks, I'll see you in another one. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and... Yeah, I'm really terrible at ending these. Um... Bye.